Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. And once again, we're in the post game here. We're doing side quests from all the other towns or kingdoms that we've been to in the past. And and last video, we finished up in Yule. So we finished up all the side quests over here. So next stop is we're going to Perdita, I believe. Yeah, I believe Perdita is the very last area in the game that has a town or a shop or something similar to that. So we're going to put Perdita. Uh, I don't think it's going to take us that long to complete those side quests. I could be wrong. And then after that we'll do, um, we'll go to the palace. I already forgot the name of the palace, you know, the castle in the sky. And there is more quests I believe related to, actually I could do this right now, I believe. Falling Kingdom. Um, I was gonna say Marcuson, but it's not. Um, the Ghost, right? The Ghost Boy. I forgot his name. The King, or Wizard. I I can't remember names. I'm never good at that kind of stuff. But I believe it's it's, it's so weird. It's over here because I believe he was saying that he is going to a Falling Kingdom next. And this is the closest to a Fallen Kingdom it could be. I mean, he probably is here. I don't know the exact location of him this time. But this is my one guess. Okay. Let us see if he is over here. This place is, uh... A lot more steep than I remember it being. Okay. Um. Mm, no. Um. Is it? It's you. Is it you? Uh, it has been a while, has it not? Uh, uh, sorry, sir, have we met? Uh, you really don't know. Well, I suppose I have changed my appearance somewhat, somewhat since we last met. What the flipping heck is he on about? Oliver, I have been waiting for you. I have a tale I dearly wish to share with you. Uh, okay. There was once a kingdom where we now stand. A mighty king united the surrounding lands and established his realm here. This king treated all his subjects equally, be they humans, animals, or magical creatures. A new era of peace was dawning, or so it seemed. But there were those who despised the king, they covered his souls, who envied his power. They plotted against him, sowing discord throughout the kingdom, and in so doing set Nazca on the road to ruin. But there my memory becomes hazy, I cannot recall their names, nor even their outward appearance. For their... twelve? Even now that my amnesia has been cured, their faces remain hidden to me. Listen, Mon, I'm not sure what you want us to say. It ain't as if we've got the first clue what the waters look like. I know that, but I also know that I recorded my fears about them somewhere. I left a message, a warning, so that when people saw them, they would know to be beware. But where? Wait, yes, I hid in the magical tomb that would never age or decay, the wizard's companion. Which means you must have seen it. I think. I wanted people to know what they look like, perhaps. What they wore? Yes, that makes sense. The robes they wore are described somewhere in that book, along with the warning. You must know where it is. I'm sure that the keys that will unlock my memories. Please, help me recover what remains of my missing past. It was they who were at the root of the kingdom strife. It was they who undermined the noble king, those twelve evil souls. But I cannot seem to recall what they look like. I am certain that I hid a warning in the magic book you hold. Something to show the reader what they look like. Please tell me the name of the garment they wore. Okay, um... Here it is. It is... Wizard's Robes. Uh, let's see, here it is. Um, where is... It's up here. Wait, isn't that what we're wearing right now? Maybe? I don't know. 
Yes, that's right. Now I remember. Those fiends clad themselves in wizards' robes. I can see them now, deep in deliberation. They were the Council of Twelve. Each member was given the title of Zodiac. And that is not all. Oh, come on, man. Spit it out. Whatever you remembered. I was there all those millennia ago. I swore fealty to the Wizard King. Yes, I now remember. I was a sage of Nazca. You were, but that means... Did you know Cassiopeia? What? How do you know that name? Cassiopeia. Queen Cassiopeia. It was so long ago. I have sensed her spirit at times over the years. It is unmistakably her. But I know not what befell her. I think I better take over here. Now pay attention, because I'll say this once. I'll only say this once. I see. So Queen Cassiopeia, she... She gave in to the darkness, and that ash I saw fall on Ding Dong Dell. That was her doing. But Oliver, you really might be the one to save her. The Wizard King trusted you with his wand, after all. Uh, we'll save her, sir. I just know we will. That's the spirit. Of course, the Wizard King's wand is not yet at full strength. But in heck, not this again. Fear not. To one who was once called the Sage of Ages, it is but a trifling matter. Eh, so we don't have to go tracing around after magic stones then? Thank you, Flip, thank you, Flip for that. Now, let me begin. Awake, O Wand of the Wizard King. Awake, O Astra. Ooh, cast a spell known only to legend. So, it's uh, all ready to go now, huh? Gee, thank you, sir. The true power that dwells within a wand can sometimes require effort to be drawn out. I believe that you alone can harness the full power of Astra. With it, you will be able to cast spells that only a king among wizards has ever wielded. I sure hope so. Ah, you're sure you're all right selling the likes of us loose with such snazzy spells? We've just met you after all. Uh, you have never had a problem accepting spells from me before. You what? What do you mean before? Hold on a minute, you're not telling me. You're Horus? Uh, I was wondering when the Gilder would drop. Better late than never. Indeed, I was once the sage known as Orologium or Horus to my friends. Who'd have thought a mouthy little brat like Horus would have grown up to be so important looking, eh? How many times must I tell you I was the Sage of Ages? I was no normal boy. Ah, oh, so does this mean you finally got your memory back? Indeed, it does, and I have much to thank you for. Now, there's little I can do to save Queen Cassiopeia in my current state. I am afraid I must humbly ask you to do all in your power to free her from the darkness. Sure thing, Horus, we'll save her. You see if we don't. You are a brave and pure-hearted warrior, Oliver. I will pray for your success. Wait a minute, there's more? Ooh. Oliver, there is something I need to tell you. What is it, Horace? I must tell you about Nazca and Queen Cassi and Cassiopeia and about myself. Before you attempt to save Cassiopeia, you deserve to know the truth. It may take some time, but hope you can spare the time to listen to what I have to say. Thank you, Oliver. Our story begins here long ago, where the kingdom of Nazca once flourished. Though it may appear bleak and barren now, in those days it was a mighty empire that combined mighty magic with advanced technology. It was a prosperous realm where poverty and pestilence were all but unknown, and its people enjoyed a life of peace and plenty. But man was never wont to count. But man was never wont to count his blessings, and greed soon reared its ugly head. In spite of all they had, the populace demanded more. Friends turned upon one another, families were torn apart, and each citizen strove to better his own lot and outdo his neighbor. Sounds like a recipe for a right old mess that, and indeed it was, it led to a series of conflicts that would span centuries, the wizard wars. But the course of history was changed with the arrival of a single wizard. Wow, one wizard made that big of a difference? Indeed, this wizard wielded not one, but two wands. His mastery of magic was unparalleled he soon turned the tide of the war. Though his powers, th through his power, the bitter conflicts that many thought would never end was brought to a conclusion in the space of mere days. Quirky, sounds like someone you want on your side in a fight? He was indeed, Fairy. He was lauded as a hero by all the people of the world, and his reward was the crown of Nazca. Thus did he become the Wizard King. The Wizard King? Cassiopeia's father? The very same. Now, shortly after peace returned to the world, the Wizard King hid one of his wands in the distant land of Atumnia. He sealed it away that it might never be used for evil. 
Which brings me to my latest puzzle. It has been some time since I last posed you a question, has it not? I guess it has, huh? Excellent. My question is this. What was the name of the wand that the Wizard King sealed away? I believe that you know it well. Speak to me again and you have your answer. Oh, I know what that one is. So what is your answer, Oliver? What was the name of the wand? Here it is. Uh, how do you spell it? It is... This, right? Indeed, it was the very wand that you carry with you now. I wonder how the valley where it was sealed fares. In those days, it was filled with the most beautiful flowers. Let us continue our tale there. I will be waiting for you, Oliver. Come and find me. Okay. That was, um,. You know what? This is a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. I knew that you got the spell Astra here. And I knew that this wasn't the last riddle from Horus. But, um, that was it. I didn't know what information we were going to get given. I didn't know about the backstory that we were going to get given. None of that kind of sort did I know about going into this part. All I knew was that, uh, it was here. Well, I, I forgot the location, but, you know, it's kind of obvious. I knew um, that this is where you got Astro. From this la from this riddle. Okay. Next stop, Perdita. And then after that, I guess we'll go to the Tombstone Trail. Because that's where we got Monster, right? We got Monster, Tombstone, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Perdita shouldn't be too bad. I might... Yeah, I might spend the rest of this video, I think, doing all of Perdita. And then... Oh, that's right. It's called the Ivory Tower, right? What's this name? Let's see if I fly next to it real quick. Yep, Ivory Tower. Yep, that's its name. Okay, Perdita. It is... It's right here. I could have teleported, but once again, I just like to fly to everywhere because it's so much more fun. <sighs> Let's see. It sh there shouldn't be that much quest here. I think there's four? Five? Something like that, right? Six. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is the one thing I don't like about this place. Just, just listen to this. There's no ambiance. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, God, it's so awkward. Look, have you ever seen a sight more beautiful than the evening sun from this mountain of ours? Gee, you're right. It sure is pretty, man. Flippin' heck, get a load of that. You don't see a view like that every day. Yes, drink it in, for this beauty is all of ours to enjoy. From this mountain, we see the sun sink into the sea each evening and bid farewell to the day. We watch each of the colors drain from the world as the night sky dons its starry robes. Its beauty takes my breath away every time. Well, I bet that's really something. I sure would love to see it. Oh, but you must, you must. Nowhere in this world has a sunset that can match that of Perdita. Of that I am sure. This lady sure got a lot of confidence. Oh, it is a blooming... What? Well, is it any blooming wonder? That's a backdrop and a half, man. Makes me look all epic and windswept, ain't it? What are you giving me that look for? If you got something to say, I spit it out, man. Uh, pardon me, man. I was wondering if you could maybe help us out. Well, I'm not sure if I'm able to. What is it you want from me? Listen to you... Listening to you talk about the view, you sound real sure of what you think. I was wondering if you might share some of your confidence with us. You wish to borrow my confidence? Truly, you say strange things, but I see that you mean no harm. Please, proceed. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, here goes. Um, do I have any on me right now? I think I have... Uh, I have one. I'll, I'm going to figure out what it is I have right now. Ambition. I have ambition currently. So, and, and now we have confidence. Cool. Uh, my heart, it tickles. Ah, uh, look, the sun begins its descent. Please do not miss the beauty about to unfold. I can't see it from this angle. Huh, interesting. Alright, um, I'm just going to talk to all the green ones first. Because, uh, yeah. You come from another land? This is our home. Perdita is small, but we have big hearts. Romana, I am so hungry. I'm sorry, Hermanito. I will prepare dinner now. What do you want to eat? Oh, thank you, Hermano. 
Can you make a stew again? Please, Hermana. Is he your little brother, miss? You two seem to get along real well. We get along very well, it is true, but he is not my real brother. Really, seeing you acting so kind, I was sure you must be family. As you see, our town is very small. We are all like family here. Everyone in this town cares for each other. We look after the young and the old as if they were our own family. Gee, a town where everybody treats each other like family sure sounds nice. Yes, we are truly blessed. I love my home with all my heart. Wow, this girl sure has a whole lot of love, huh, Mr. Drippy? Um, excuse me, miss. We were wondering if we could ask you for a favor. A favor? Please, tell me more. Well, um, we were wondering if you'd be kind enough to share some of the love in your heart. Ah, truly, people from far away are very different from us. Tell me, what must I do? Just hold still for a second. It won't take long. She has a sheep. <laughs> yeah, a baby sheep with her. That's funny. Is it over now? I'm not sure what you did, but my heart feels light. Amara, I'm so hungry. I'll prepare, do na prepare dinner now, Hermanito. Yeah, that's sheep, huh? What a thing that is. Okay. Um, excuse me. Wait, it's you two. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... I gotta find out what quests I'll be missing soon. I doubt I have that many quests missing, right? Thankfully, there is a little board that talks about it. Uh, ah, tra la 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 la. Gee, you sure do have a pretty voice. Thank you, but it's not yet good enough. I need to practice more. Wow, and you're real determined too, huh? Are you practicing for a concert or something? Well, yes, in a way. When my singing gets better, I would love to sing for everyone. Then I will travel to Alma Moon and become the most famous singer in the whole world. Jeepers, you sure do think big, but if you work real hard, I'm sure your dream will come true someday. Look, Ali boy, your locket's outshining my lantern. This girl's got ambition to spare, no mistake. Um, listen, if you don't mind, we'd like to ask a favor. A favor? Well, I'll try to help. Swell, would you mind closing your eyes for just a couple of seconds? Uh, this game is fun. Now, I will close my eyes. Hang on, Ali boy, you've already got some of that one in your locket, ain't it? You can't hog it all to yourself? Oh, jeez. I think this is the last one, too. There's so much ambition just going on. Oh, hey, I want to talk to you real quick. Um, not a side quest, but... I'm glad to meet you once again. So this is the town of Perdita. Though my queen has already departed, I have been reunited with my beloved Alf. He cannot see me, but I can be with him and watch over him. This is all I ask. That's good for you. Uh, we will go talk to you. Wait a minute, are we talking to animals right now? Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're talking to animals? Uh, is that the car? There's a thing. Uh, that there is a noble alpaca, Ollie boy. Majestic, ain't it? Always had them in Perdita, they have. It seems like he's trying to tell me, tell me something. You're not wrong, this hairy fellow's got something to say, and no mistake. Time for a spot of magic, I reckon. Okay, um. Hello, I want to do something for me. I am simply starving. Can't you hear my tummy rumbling? Might you have a tasty morsel for a hungry alpaca? Oh, so you want food, huh? Um, sorry, Mr. Alpaca, but what do you eat? I kind of fed hay morning, noon, and night, but I have grown tired of its frankly one-dimensional taste and uninviting texture. It is the merest hint of luxury too much to ask. A little gourmet treat, perhaps? A gourmet treat, huh? Precisely. Would it be so wrong for a humble alpaca to sample the delights of a juicy babana from Alba Moon? How the heck he heard about babanas, we'll never flippin' know. Um, there was a merchant who once came here. Amongst his wares were fresh babanas. Ever since I first set eyes upon him, they have captiv captivated me. I simply must try one. Might you be willing to provide me with one? Bring me a babana, and I am sure I can find something similarly desirable to offer you in exchange. Okay, sure. Just wait, wait, wait there. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you. My tummy is rumbling with anticipation. All right, well then, let's um, let's head on over to Album Moon. <sighs> Man, the fact that you could talk to animals in this game, crazy, <laughs> crazy. Uh, who will? Who's the Babana salesman? I mean, it's not uh, Rashad, right? Because I'll be honest, he did not help us fight the White Witch. <laughs> oh, it can't be Rashad. Um. Hold on. Um. I 
Okay, it's not those ones. And these ones are all complete. The Hungry Alpaca. Having grown tired of hay, we like nothing more than a sample a babana. And here's the thing, I have no car I have no problem doing that for them. At the same time. Like what in the world? How many of these have I completed? A hungry alpaca, okay. It's just this one. Oh, actually wait, I can if I check this. Uh it says uh stamp cards, doesn't say how much I have currently. An Alma Moon, huh? I gotta find someone who sells Babanas in Al Moon. That's a huge problem. I mean, it would show on here, right? Babana salesman. Babana salesman. It's not the couple, right? I mean, I'll be honest. If, if it was the couple, that would be amazing. Because then you'll be able to see them take part in other uh, side quests, except for their one quest that we had. I don't think that's the case, though. Huh. A traveling Babana salesman, right? So if it's a traveling Babana salesman, they would usually be in Hamlin, right? I mean, Alma Moon is my first, tr yeah, place to check because it's where the Babanas are being sold, right? But. They are not there. You know, I want to talk to the couple that's in here real quick. Uh, I doubt that they will help me in the story, in the side quests, but I want to talk to them nonetheless. Okay. Yep, war and all that stuff, yes. Okay, Hamlin, let's go over there. I don't think it's in Fairyground, or Yule for that matter. So Hamlin's like the only pick, and I don't think it's ever going to be in Ding Dong Dell either. So we're going to check Hamlin real quick. If it's not there, we'll head back to Perdita and talk to the Llama again, I guess. See what happens going on. Okay. Yeah, it's not over here either. Okay, you know what? Perdita, let's head on over back over there. Maybe we'll get more info. Or... Hmm. Maybe the guy never left Perdita. Maybe he wants Babanas from someone that's still there. That could make sense, right? You know, that's probably the case. Mo, oh, I still have six blinking dots. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Gosh, it's a Babana. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, no, 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 this is delicious. It's so sweet and soft and fruity. Uh, it makes a change from hay, I can tell you. Look at him gobble it down in Babana heaven as he is. Uh, yeah, he sure does seem to be enjoying it. Uh, that was delicious, but having experienced such a gastronomic marvel, it is clear to me just what I've been missing. I must taste further delights. Still hungry, is it? A greedy, great hairy lump. Let me see, what do I want to eat for my next course? I know, a glow shrimp. Hold on for a face. What did an alpaca in the middle of the flipping mountain come to hear of a race and exotic type of seafood then, eh? The merchants who come to Podita often speak of strange and wonderful foods. They don't think I can understand, but I am listening. This hairy blighter has got an answer for everything. Well, I guess if he would bring you a glow shrimp. Excellent. I shall wait here for said exquisite morsel. Glow shrimp. Alright then, I guess I'll come back once I find glow shrimp. Okay, I got your food for you. Here's, um, i talk to you. I say it's a glow shrimp, how delightful. I can't wait to taste it. Mm, yeah, exquisite. I never tasted anything quite like this. It's tender and succulent and leaves a delightful tang on the tongue. So this is why people make such a fuss about seafood. Listen to the way this hairball is carrying on. He's quite the culinary connoisseur, ain't he? He sure seems to know a lot about food. Mm, that was a real treat. Now on to the next course. The next course, this ain't some fancy flipping restaurant, you cheeky so-and-so. Um, are you sure eating all this unusual food won't give you a stomach ache? I thank you for your concern, but I shall be fine. Now, on to the next course, I would like to sample a black truffle from Hamlin. You what? Do you know how much those flipping things cost? Cost? <laughs> I find the subject distasteful. Flavor is all that matters to me, but if you think money is more important than a hungry alpaca's humble dream, 
Well, I guess we can bring you a black truffle. Ah, that smell must not stung. It must be a black truffle. Oh, I am going to enjoy this, I assure you. Hmm, it's this is extraordinary. Ah, uh, that been heck. I never thought I'd live to see an alpaca gorging himself on a black truffle. There can be no mistake. The black truffle is indeed the king of foods. It is truly fragrant and boasts a flavor of incomparable depth, a taste for the true connoisseur. Jeepers, he sure does know his food, and some real fancy words too. But the texture was nothing special. That being the case, the next delicacy I should like to try is the legendarily crunchy snow radish of Yule. Bah, got the bit between his teeth now, hasn't he? Along with the greedy fur bag, gonna keep eating. Uh, he still seems pretty hungry. I can't wait for the next course. My tummy's rumbling in anticipation. Oh, he brought me a snow radish. Then without further ado, I'm gonna tuck in. Ah, that crispy, crunchy texture is just so moorish. And snow radishes are good for you too. It's delightful and iciness ten sends a tingle down the spine. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I do declare that I've eaten enough. My belly is fit to burst. Thank you for indulging my rooms and taking this humble epoch on a whirlwind culinary tour of the world. Before you deliver those delicate morsels, I have tasted only hay and a shoe out of curiosity. Rest assured, I shan't forget the flavors you have so kindly introduced me to. Now I promise that I would reward you, and so I shall. Here you go. Oh my god, he gave me a leech gem. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just think that it's funny. Oh, and there's more. I have a fine formula for you to use in your alchemical experiments. Just to make something tasty, and feel free to drop by and share it with me anytime. He's got some blinking cheek. Does he think of nothing but his stomach or what? Ooh, I wonder what this one is. I can actually check now. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's no way this is all from him, right? This this man really... This, this llama had all these recipes? What in the world is... Why does he have this? That makes no sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is this one... This person is the most heartbroken child I have ever seen. It is no good. I would never be an alpaca herder. Gee, what's the matter? You sure do look sad about something. I do not care anymore. Why should I spend my days chasing after stupid alpacas? I could become the greatest alpaca herder in Perdita, but so what? It does not matter to anybody. Well, gee, I think it does matter. I mean, you, you'd be doing an important job and everybody would respect you. Listen to him, sunshine. They are wise words. They are. I taught you well, Ollie boy. Being the best alpaca herder in Perdita would be swell, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe... I no longer know. I no longer spend my days dreaming about hurrying my alpacas through the fields at sunset. Oh, you know what this is a case of, don't you, Ollie boy? Poor lad's lost his ambition, ain't it? Broken hearted he is. We can't just leave him like this. We have to help him get his ambition back. Nice one, Ollie boy. Let's see if there's a chunk of ambition going begging somewhere around by here. Yeah, thankfully, we have extra. Thankfully, we have that going for us. Um, this one. I, 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 I feel, I feel very different. What did I worry about? I forget. No matter. My precious alpacas must be led out to pasture. I have no time to waste. Now there's one alpaca-loving lad. It looks like he's back to his old self. He sure does. Hopefully now he'll make his dream come true. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Talking with you really helped. Please take this. Thank you. More stats for the collection. Nice. Um, let me. Uh, what's what's more important, items or familiars? Familiars, of course, collectathons and all that. Um, I know what that guy wants. That's the weirdo guy, right? Let me uh do this so I can get the green out of the way. And I only have four quests left here. Has the chest been there this whole time? Oh my gosh. Um. Yep. There we go. Thought you could hide from me. I mean, you hid from me for a long time. One day I'll travel to Amalu and become the most famous singer in the whole world. Yeah, sure. Um, that's the last person, I think. Uh, I think. I could be wrong. Okay, cool. Oh, what happened? My heart, it tickled a bit. Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Um, let's go over here. 
Oh, I remember these two. Listen, dear, don't you think it's time to go? We'll get no business done in an out-of-the-way place like this. That doesn't sound like you, darling. We've always managed to make a decent living, no matter where we've gone. It's nice to see you both again. Is everything okay? Uh, it's you. Well, the thing is, my darling wife has suddenly declined, decided that we don't stand a chance of selling anything here. Uh, I don't know. I just don't think I can carry on like this. Going from one place to the next, only ever scraping by. I mean, even if we did get our dream shop off the ground, how long would we last? A year? A month? What if the customers stopped coming? You know, this looks a lot like... You've got it, Ali Boy. Her confidence is in short supply. So are we going to do something about this or what? You've traveled so far and worked so hard. We can't just let them throw it all away. How many times have you helped this pair out now? Anyway, you know the drill, Ollie Boy. She needs a confidence boost, ain't it? Good thing we have some. Okay, uh, here we go. Is this the last time I'll be seeing them? I hope not. Oh, I feel all warm and tingly inside. All my worries seem to have just melted away. Come on, my darling husband. We've got places to be, and most importantly, things to sell. We'll be able to open our dream shop in no time. Good luck with everything. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's something for your trouble. Thank you for always being there for us. There's one more down. Um, The chest. Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Ew, that one is stuck there for a while. Okay, let's go on over to this side, I guess. Ay, my poor back, it aches. Excuse me, sir, are you okay? Oh, I do not worry about me. It's just that I am old. I have more aches and pains with each passing day. Uh, it aches so... Would you be kind enough to help me, young man? You see, I cannot apply this. Mm, oh, is something the matter, sir? It seems I have no more of the special comp compressors that I use to ease the pain. And there's nothing else you can use? I'm afraid not. I bought a number of compressors from a peddler some time ago. But like youth, they did not last. They were a special kind of cold compress, handmade by a Tomty who resides in Yule. Whenever I placed one on my poor back, its icy embrace would swiftly soothe my pain. Without one, I feel I would know no relief. Can I ask a favor of you? Will you travel to Yule for me and collect the cold compress from the Tom to there? I am grateful to you, but remember that Yule is far from here. Take care. You must not endanger yourself on my account. Thank you, sir. I'm sure it will be okay. You just right here. Man, the traveling fees must be crazy for that compress. I mean, for me, it's not really a big deal, but you're literally talking about going to the other side of the planet. <laughs> or the world. Well, that. Let's um, well, at least for me, very easy. I can just travel there. It looks like the, a lot of the quests shouldn't be too bad, except for that one painting guy, eventually. But other than him, that's about it. That's a good thing. Yeah, I already found the uh, Tomter. It's uh, this one, right? Hmm? You're wishing to speak with me, boy. Yes, sir. I have something to ask you. Could we have one of your code compresses? Oh, a code compress? You are knowing very well about me, yes? Whereupon your person is hurting, please. Oh, no, it's not for me. It's for somebody in Perdita. He was... His back is really hurting. Oh, I am knowing him well. We are communicating through the peddler, yes? Yes, so will you let us have a compress? Yes, of course, yes, but it's taking a little time to be making them. That's no problem, sir. We'll just wait right here. Perhaps you'll be listening to my request in return, yes? Sure, what is it? Mangler fishes have been causing much trouble around the region of Yule, yes? Can you please be defeating five of them for me? Please very much. Five, huh? Sure, we can. They are fearing fire, yes? To defeat them with the blazing blade the peddler is selling will make them not come back soon. Blazing blade. Uh, should I just use bones? Okay, this is not a big deal. Let's see. Wait a minute. Blazing blade? I don't have the blazing blade. Uh, I could have equipped it, but you know, it's okay. Let's see. Equipment. 
Blazing Blade. It's a little bit weaker, but it doesn't matter. It gets the job done. So it's huge in front. Change tactics too while we're at it. And... Manglerfish. Okay. Gotta find out what Manglerfish looks like. And it's probably weird, but I'm just gonna be looking towards this companion real quick. Take a little peek. It is a fish, so... Let's see where the fish icon is. Is this a fish icon? I have no clue. Um, nope. Is it this thing? And this is water shaped, I guess. Uh, wait, wait, did they say dangler fish? Oh my gosh, my memory is so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why is it? I, I got bad memory. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Mangler fish. Mangler fish. Okay, let me just check if that's the same thing. Very similar, but I just want to confirm it. Mangler fish. Okay. Um, weak to fire. Okay. Let me just buff up my bones. Uh, bones here, real quick. Um. This increases attack slightly. But that's not good enough. Wait, what's your stats anyways? 225? Oh, you're fine. You're fine to even fight the last boss. Like, 225 I think is... 200 plus I think is good enough, right? For, like, the final boss. I say that, but I use all of her, so... I guess that really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, Danglerfish, right? Let's uh, hunt them down five. Gotta make sure I keep count. I will not be keeping count because once I hit two, I'm gonna forget. So, um, just to make sure they don't run away from me, I'm just gonna cast Theo every time. There we go. Let's do it. Okay, swing. Step aside. Ready? Tactics, um, don't do anything, don't do anything, don't do anything, and, okay. Ready? I'm gonna do this, yeah, we'll just beat you, and then we'll just all out attack. Oh my god, I got him? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I think I have several of these guys, but you might as well catch them, right? Okay, one down. And for some reason, I thought they was going to drop an item. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, it, oh, good. It knows that I can't, th I can't count. Oh, it chases after me? Oh, perfect. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this is good. Stay calm now. Swing. Allow me. Ready? Okay, you guys just uh, stay on the defense. Oh my gosh. All our defense will make them not attack, right? Good. Uh, oh, good. Oh, well, you know, not necessary, but it's okay. Oh, two left, right? Good. How? Where is another one? Let's see. Uh, there is one. I see it in the distance. Uh, we use Vio because the ice cream thing on the jig over here chases me as well, and I don't like that. Let's see if we can find another one too. I'll grab it. Uh, maybe this is just the last one. Maybe this one has two. Do you have two? No. Oh, it's a shame. Here goes nothing. Okay. Swing. Now you're for it. Stand back. It always sounds like they're far away when they do that. Here. Uh, in the beginning, and sometimes it sounds like they're very far. I don't know why. Like when they say their names. Okay, good. Oh, one left. Nice 
not too bad. But Christ, really. Um, nah, I'm just gonna use Veal one more time, why not? Uh, where are that last dangler fish? Are they up here? I don't know where I'm going. This is the middle of nowhere to me. Oh, the caves are here. Okay, let's uh, let's head on down uh, to the other side of the village. I feel maybe we'll get more uh, choices to pick from. I think that resets either en that either resets enemies or just you know I'm here now. Is that a danglerfish? That's not a danglerfish, but that's a danglerfish. Perfect. Okay, last one. Good. Didn't take that. Not didn't take that long. Um, now you're ready. for it. Okay. Okay, I guess swing here. Let's go with tactics. And I think I have it for give it your all, right? Is that correct? Maybe. Could be wrong. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point, right? I beat the game, so. Oh, we're in post game, anyways. So, I guess it really doesn't matter strategies that much. I do believe. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. We're done. I do believe there is still more harder content. I think I've seen that somewhere, but. Not really that necessary, I don't believe. Like. Maybe bounties. Maybe there's some bounties that's difficult. I don't know. Okay, let's go and see if the compress is done and go back to uh, Perdita. Didn't expect to spend so much time in Yule again. We did it, sir. Oh, you have defeated them, yes? Uh, and my code compress is being finished. Good to you. And please be greeting my friend of Perdita. Thank you. Okay, heading back to Perdita. Not that bad of a quest. Um, we haven't had a long side quest in a while. Since the treasure map the last time, we didn't have one either, I don't believe. Huh. How many... How much do I have left? Uh, looks like two now, potentially. Oh, you have returned. Well, well, you truly traveled to Yule and back. Without your help, I would have had to suffer until a peddler next arrived. The top ten Yule senses a guard, sir. Does he now? That is good to hear. Uh, but I must not forget I have a reward for you. Please, take it. And some more stamps while we're at it. It was always nice. Okay, now we got you in the corner here. Hello. Oh, wait, hold on. Shining pot. Ooh, game pie. Slice of game pie. Okay. Ah, uh, I cannot forget that dream. Uh, what's the matter? It was yesterday. I had a strange dream. What kind of dream was it? It was like no dream I ever had. There was a girl who looked just like me. She had my face, but she lived in another world. In my dream, the girl was planting flowers I have never seen before. Beautiful flowers. Gee, that does sound like a strange dream. It was... And I felt something too, though I do not know how. The girl and I, we were joined. It is hard to explain. I reckon the girl she saw in her dream was from your world, Ollie boy. They're soulmates, most likely. What did you say? Uh, does this boy really come from the same place as the girl in my dream? From another world? That's right, I come from another world, completely different from yours. Is it true? It is incredible. Can I ask you something, in case you ever meet that girl I saw? Um, sure, I guess. What I want is a flower. I would like very much to have one of the flowers that the girl in my dream grew. If you meet her, please ask her for such a flower. Thank you. The flower I saw, they were pink and in a pot. I have never seen flowers like them before. Sounds to me like it's time to dust off a certain spell and head back to your world, Ollie boy. I guess you better go find the girl who looks just like her. Um, alrighty. Pink flowers in a pot. Um... This is the first is this the first side quest that takes me to Motorville? It is, right? I mean, it's it's cool, right? 
Oh, they really pointed it out on the map, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't have minded searching for them, actually. But, you know, just in case, always gotta make sure to check the map. But they're right here. Is it? Oh, well, it does look like her. <laughs> hey, Mr. Trippy, this girl is... That she is, my lad. Her and that little Missy over by Perdita could be twins, but soulmates they are, or oh, I'm a donkey's dad. Uh, what do you want? I just to ask you, the flowers you grow, do you have any pink ones? Sure, I have pink tulips. They're real pretty. You do? Do you think you might let me have some? I would, but they're all dried up. Uh, dried up? Yep, look. Boy, they are kind of shriveled, huh? Mr. Trippy, is there anything we can do? What you asking me for? You're the flipping wizard, ain't you? How am I supposed to know if you got a spell that will restore flowers to their former flipping glory? Of course, I can use magic to bring them back. Um. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. It's all the way down here. Rejuvenate. Wait, what? It's not. Is it? Wait. Is it... Um... Uh, let's see, am I missing something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used Retrieve on it. Uh, is there a spell I'm missing? Oh, look, I just healed myself by accident. Oh, I have healing hand now to heal. That's cool. He's just about to bring them back to life, ain't it? Oh. I was correct. I was supposed to... Okay. Look at that. They're blooming. Blooming. Uh, they're blooming. Blooming. There's beautiful. Nice one, Ollie boy. Nino, the flowers came right back to life. Wow, they're amazing. That was like magic. Like magic, she says. The cheek of it. That was magic love. The real deal. Uh, did you hear something? I thought I heard somebody yelling. No way, much. You can hear me. How do you? How do love? Nice weather we've been having, ain't it? Mr. Trippy, not now. Hey, did you just hear a voice down near the ground there? Uh, no, I guess it must have been the wind. Any anyway, about those flowers, could I maybe have some? Sure, but you have to promise to show me another magic trick next time. Trick? They're not tricks, man. They're spells. Spells you cheek a little. Okay, and see you later, girl. Oh, uh, just don't look the other way, please. Um, don't want you seeing this. Yeah, she probably didn't see it anyways. All right, she didn't see the spell. Okay, after this, I have like what one side quest over here in Perdita. Oh, we're, we're, we're rushing through these. Okay, we're back. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is just like the flowers in my dream. It's funny, I don't remember there being flowers like that in Motorville. I guess I never really looked. There's something very common about flowers, do you not think? Thank you for bringing me the flowers. Please accept this. Okay, now let's talk to this artist dude. After this, um, what other errors could there be? I don't know, really. Oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again. Of course I predicted you would be here before long. Gee, it's Durin. Oh, it's you again. How come you're always waiting for us whenever you go? Because I want you to assist me with my critically important research, of course. So I guess that means you want us to find some more creatures for you, huh? I applaud your precipitacity. Now, will you assist science and cooperate with me? Science thanks you. Uh, what kind of creature is he going to send us running off after this time, eh? Lately, I've been conducting highly stimulating research into the process of metamorphosis, but there are some creatures whose advanced forms I have yet to observe. There are three specimens I would very much like you to bring me. The first specimen of interest is Vespula, the metamorphic successor of a ghostly creature known to haunt the Tombstone Trail. I would also like to see at first hand a Flash Fry, a species produced through the metamorphosis of a creature notable for carrying a pair of red-hot stones. Finally, I wish to examine a curiously musical creature known as a, um, Trumpy. I'm sure you know the species in question, and no, I should not repeat myself. Gee, this doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. 
It was known about these creatures even amongst the familiological fraternity as such you on your own. Still, with a combination of dedication and animal cunning, it is statistically likely that you will find them eventually. Oh, and it goes without saying that it will not suffice simply to stash these specimen in a familiar retreat. No, you must bring all three of these creatures to me together. Alrighty then. Um... Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna put you here, put you over here, put you over here. Uh, is this one good? I mean, it says it is, but is it really, right? Okay. Flash fry and other stuff. That requires some farming, I think. Okay. So, let me, uh, I can't turn it, okay. Okay, one is the fries, right? One is one of the fries. So that, it, wait, where are they? Where is the fries? Um, where are you? I know I don't, yeah, okay. One is you, not that form specifically, but you know, an evolved form. One is one of you. And the other one is a, a what did they call it? What did they say? I'm trying to see if I could remember off just memory alone, but I can't remember. Let's talk to him one more time. A Vispula. Uh, do I have a Vispula? Do I even have that one on me? I might not. Uh... A Vispula. Uh, let's see, let's see... It seems that the answer is a no, no whisper on us. So we have to catch that thing, actually. All right, but we have two of them already, so that's good. Uh, I guess we'll be back once I catch the whispula and upgrade all of them to whatever form I need for this quest. Okay, uh, I guess I'll see you then. Uh, yeah. Okay, finally, it it's been a while. But I finally got the familiars they have, I just wanted to show them off. Uh, here's the last one I got, so I guess fix my familiars around again. Uh, here you go. So I got all of them. Uh, <laughs> man, that uh, took me, I think it took me about 40 minutes. But uh, here we go. Yes, these are correct. It would seem that you have successfully brought me the specimens I requested. Moreover, you did so in marginally less time than predicted, based on my estimation of the subject's rarity and your intelligence. Clearly, another factor is at work, but I shall look into that later. For now, I must immerse myself in my studies. That will be all. Gee, Darren sure does love science, huh? Yeah, a bit too flippant much, if you ask me. Lad needs to find himself a girlfriend. Oh, you are scarcely aware of the scale of the contribution you have made to my research. I stand on the brink of a truly mo moment momentous discovery. Soon, the deepest mysteries of creature kind will be revealed to me, and science shall be the beneficiary. Oh, I hope science is more grateful than you are. What was that? No matter. In return for your continued assistance, I shall reward you. Here. Ah, uh, planet traps. I don't think I've ever used them before. I don't think so. Well, that's uh, it for every place in Pardita. Now, um, I think... Um, I don't think I'll go and hunt for any more. But I do want to check on a couple of things first before I head on out. Because um, oh, we was we was doing that quest for a long, long time. Um, so how many quests do we have left? Uh, let's see, how this world and... Okay, we did those. Uh, uh, let's see. I, I know what that one is. Okay. And what is this one? Uh, the... The... Yeah, alpaca. Alpaca, whatever. Okay. Go back in here. And we can see all the quests. We have this one. Uh, you have to go back to Ding Dong Dell, so we can always do that in a bit. You have Golden Grove, uh, Shipwreck Shore, um, and we have these three. Ding Dong Dell again, 
uh, Ivory Tower and the Great Sage. Great Great Grand Sage. So, those are the only crests remaining. What is that? Five, six? Not many. So, I, I guess we'll do all of those next time. Uh, I can't wait. I'm very excited for those ones. Those look like, like the very ending of a lot of crest lines, which is nice. So, I'll see you all later. Bye.